It does have some semi-auto cannons on it, so, uh, yeah, you can spam the hell out of these if you want. Oh, shit, what happened to my tank track? No, oh, my God. How's it going, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creations, the weekly series where we check out some seriously awesome Besieged Creations and have some fun with them. Now, this week is going to be a special one because I found a lot of very unique and very interesting creations, more so than usual, and I am so excited to be getting into this one. Now, what we're starting with here is called the Ski Buggy. It's obviously a buggy with skis, and unfortunately, we don't have a Winter Wonderland to explore but we've never really checked out this map. This is another one of the modded maps, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I think these hills are probably way too big for this thing to not break, but I figured we'd try it out and see how good this thing is at bombing some hills. So, oh, 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 there we go. Okay, maybe these are a little bit too much. I almost want to go to the desert just to see how fast we can go, but this is a very big map, and I did want to explore it a bit first here. So, uh, you know what? Let's try... Oh, <laughs> okay, well... Tis but a scratch. We still got our suspension system. We're, we're good. Okay, maybe we're not good because we're going at about a snail's pace. Yeah, I think I, I, I think I broke the engine, guys. But I can't believe I haven't checked out this map yet. I mean, look at it. It's got some seriously awesome terrain here. All right, let's go this way a little bit. There we go. That's how the suspension's supposed to work. So uh, the developer did warn that the skis sometimes get caught in the land and whatnot. Skis are still a little wonky in this game, so it's probably not going to work as well as something that has wheels on it, but it definitely is a very unique feeling. Here we go. We're going for it. Doing it. Oh, God. Okay, I can't control it in the air, but my God, we just jumped a fucking mountain. All right, let's take this a bit slower and actually try and control this around the mountain. So again, I'm, I'm going to try and jump that mountain. I want to see if I can land it well, because that is just the perfect incline up. We got this runway here and you can get some see. Oh shit. Didn't realize that was a bump. Okay. Broke my back tread. We're okay though. We're still going. Woo. <laughs> Jesus. Hold on to her. And we landed it. Oh my God. I mean, uh, my vehicle has seen better days, but somehow I did that whole thing. There we go. We just blew out the whole suspension system. We're still going, though. Let's jump some more mountains. Jesus, this thing is a fucking rocket. It can get some serious air. All right, well, look at look at this. Let's see if we can... Oh, oh, a little bit of a hard bump. I didn't even notice that. Let's see if we can climb this. No problem at all. It's really good at freaking climbing mountains. And as you can see, look at this playground. This is what I'm talking about. This is why modded maps rock. All right, we're going to jump this. Okay, no, we're going to explode on it. That works too. All right, we're going to try dust out. This is a little bit more flat. We might actually be able to bomb these hills a little bit better and uh, try out this suspension and see how good it is. Now... I might have to go with the wind here, because it's going to be hard to go sideways with the wind, but as you can see, we are... Aw, oh, this is amazing! I love this vehicle! Okay, a little bit of a broken front end there, but I think we're okay. Alright, I'm going to go try and go against the wind. This is going to be fun. And... Oh, 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 oh my god! Alright, so we're doing some seriously good jumps now. Still, very hard to control, not the easiest thing to control in air. I think it's because it does have some uh, flight blocks on it, so if we do hit this wind, you can see the flight blocks on the side. It does affect the trajectory. Could be totally wrong in that assumption. That's just what I'm thinking is happening, but I am I am no engineer or anything. That's for darn sure. All right, so shit. I'm just trying to get over to this little jump there. Yeah, but this terrain is much better for this vehicle. It's not as crazy as the other map, so you can still bomb around and have some fun without being totally on edge, but still... Very hard to control once you're in the air. Oh, and uh, very hard to control when that happens, too. But yeah, starting off with the ski buggy. Pretty interesting little design here. Absolutely love it when you can uh, hit these jumps perfectly and get some serious speed with this thing, because it's not slow either. We're going about 280 kilometers an hour right now. Problem is, you just can't rotate it in air at all. It just, it just has a mind of its own once it's in the air. But yeah, that's the ski buggy. I got a lot to show you guys today, so let's move on. All right, next up, we got a tank, and not just any tank. This is a very, very special tank, and I am excited about this, especially with Multiverse coming. Uh, with designs like this, we could seriously have some awesome tank battles. So this is the GSC-30, and what's amazing about it is it has gun stabilization. Now, what that means is when you're driving around, the gun is going to stay in the same place no matter where you go. I can turn all the way around. The gun is going to point in that direction. 
Even if we go up hills, it's going to lower and raise it, as you can see. Uh, I honestly, there's there's some crazy engineering in this tank. I can't even begin to imagine how this is made because this is some next level shit right here. The only thing I can tell you regarding the mechanics behind this, because I don't understand it, I was reading a post about it and it was called Vector Entanglement Stabilizers. Whatever the fuck that means, if, it, if you know what that means, that's how this thing is stabilized. So, uh, yes. A lot of engineering went into it, I'm sure, and this is going to be the ultimate tank if you want to shoot something on the move because of how stable it is. Now, there is different camera angles. Let's see, do we got a, yes, a first person so we can kind of appreciate how good the stabilization is. Unfortunately, there's no real targets to hit here, but for example, if we wanted to aim at that, we can, and it's pretty easy to keep it aimed up as we turn around. You can see my tracks going everywhere. It just makes aiming so much easier. Now, obviously, this is a cannon, so you can shoot it as well. Uh, I, does it actually have... Okay, it does have a crosshair. That makes life even more easy. So you can see as we churn, the, the actual turret just stays in one place. Sorry, chicken! Absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait for some multiplayer to try out mechanics like this, because right now you can't really appreciate it, but when you're fighting someone else without a stabilizer, you can really see how big the difference is. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's try and maybe hit a moving target if we can. All right, an AT-AT -AT seems fitting here. Now, I have no idea how well this thing will be uh, acclimated to uh, hills, so we'll see, but it should, yeah, just start walking as I drive around. Now, obviously, this is a very big target. Oh, do we have to actually... Okay, so it's not really going to be able to move. <laughs> you can see it's kind of a, a, a special AT-AT. -AT. Let's just say that. Important part, it is still standing up, so let's uh, start moving here and aim this thing up. So... If we go over, oh, yeah, oh wow, it actually shot. Okay, so we are using two creations at once, so we might run into issues like that. But as you can see, oh, there we go. We just knocked off a leg. Hit the other leg. There we go. It's falling. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe that was a little bit too easy of a target to hit, but that is awesome. But yeah, he ain't doing so good, so let's end his misery here. He's still somehow staying upright, though. Okay, so it's going to be really hard to aim this. I don't like using the first person, though. Oh, God, it's shooting as well. Okay, so we got to get used to that. There we go. Come on. Bam. There we go. Knocked off his leg. <laughs> oh, God, what the hell? What was that? I want to... Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just pressing buttons at this point. All right, we're on fire. This ain't good. <laughs> this... Oh, this turned into a shit show real quick. So yeah, that's the problem with modding. You're controlling both the creations at the same time. So if they use the same buttons, obviously random shit is going to happen. But yeah, guys, that is the GSC-30. Absolutely amazing tank with somehow auto-stabilization made in Besiege. Like, th th at this point, you may, you may as well just turn this into a fucking tank game. Because people are getting so good at building tanks in this game, uh, it's competing with other tank-focused games. So yeah, I could play with this all day just enjoying the auto-stabilization, but obviously we got more to check out. So let's move on and check out the next creation. And everybody loves a good Batman. I'm excited to check out this one because it seems to have a lot more complexity as compared to the other Batmobiles that have been in Besiege before, which we have seen quite a few of them, let's be honest. But uh, we can check out some of its mechanics here. First of all, it's got a thruster. There we go. We can go into overdrive, which puts it up to about 260 kilometers an hour. Not too bad. Now, of course, every Batmobile has weapons, so we got some weapons on the back that we can open up, and I believe to shoot these, we just, yep, there we go. So we got an, an arrow shooter on both sides. Uh, I, I don't know if that's going to be very easy to hit anything with, but okay. Nothing wrong with having some extra weapons on it. There we go. You, wow, you can see the distance that these arrows go. It's pretty impressive, so we'll close that down. We also got a cannon on it somewhere. Oh, right in the front. There we go. So again, more weapons, always good. Actually, do I have... I don't have unlimited ammo on, so that's no fun. Uh, also, missiles! So, oh, oh, Jesus, okay. What the fuck? Okay, I think I accidentally hit the Batmobile there. Let's, what the, wait, is it supposed to do that? Oh, okay, so that makes sense. It hits people behind you. I thought we ran into an issue there, but no, that is just uh, how it's supposed to be. So there we go, we can shoot another one. That's actually really cool. And then, of course, it is a Batmobile after all. It can transform into two different creations. So we got the bike here, which I believe, yes, you can control it with the R and you can totally drive this thing around. Very basic bike, obviously. So, uh, yeah, still impressive that it can turn into two creations. I'm not going to focus on the bike. We're going to focus on this thing. So this is the plane mode. And uh, let's see how this thing, wow, this is amazing. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> I love this. A Batmobile that turns into the plane and the bike version. Absolutely amazing. Uh, this is actually very, very, very easy to fly, which is nice to see. Usually Transformers are the hardest things to do in this game. Uh, but this one, oh, this is just a walk in the park. Now, we also have a cannon on this. I don't know if I already fired it. No, I didn't. So you can see it does have some weaponry as well, even in this form. Let's see if we can land on top of the Besiege Square. It's been a while since we've been up there. I actually, okay, I, I figured out how to turn off the engines. Okay, slow down, slow Oh, shit. Okay, well, well, the Batman can afford another one, I guess. My bad. That was a bad landing. So yeah, that is the new Batmobile in Besiege. Absolutely amazing design. And once again, it was made by Star Ellie, which is the Transformer guy that we always see. Uh, so it's no surprise that this is another amazing transformation. Now, we didn't really check out the bike, so obviously this is the very basic version of the vehicle. Uh, there's not much going on with the bike, but still, three vehicles in one? That is damn impressive and damn fun. All right, have you ever seen anything like this? I don't think I have. So this is, well, obviously it's a B. Beetle. Well, it's two beetles. It's a beetle beetle. So yes, it's actually called the 1963 Volkswagen Stag Beetle, and uh, yeah, it's a beetle inside of a beetle. Uh, wow. That's all I can say, and it sounds absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, we're gonna- oh my god, it's got beetle wings. <laughs> Okay, so yes, this thing is legit a beetle beetle, so oh my god, alright, here we go, we're flying! <laughs> I just, this is very hard to control, obviously, uh, it's not gonna be the most aerodynamic things, it's a fucking beetle, but, uh, yeah, let's see if we can maybe get this thing off the ground here, it's, it's gonna take some practice. Alright, fly a little beetle, oh, 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 yeah, yes, 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 oh my god, this is so heavy for those little wings, I mean, look at them, this is a huge creation, and I am just constantly battling it, oh god, oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> Oh man, becoming a beetle. It's it's a, it's a difficult process. Well, I was gonna say maybe it needs some runway to get up to speed, kind of like a plane, but uh, this seems to be the fastest it can go, so uh, that is definitely not the case. So let's just try again here. Oh, the wings definitely speeded up a bit. There we go, there we go. Keep it straight, keep it straight. There we go. Small, minute movements. Oh, uh, the thing is, it is just so heavy for the poor little wings on this thing. Accurate to beetles, by the way. I think they got, like, really small wings for their size. So I find that absolutely hilarious. All right, let's see. All right, I'm going to try and stick it to the ground and get up some speed here by staying on the ground, pushing down force down. And now we're going at a decent speed. 148. Now let's pull up. There we go. There we go. There we go. And maybe, just maybe. Ah, oh, see, it's not... I mean, you can definitely fly with it, but you're not going to be able to go very long distances. Oh, there we go. We're slowly getting it, though, as you can see. Let's actually change to the back camera. Oh, shit. That might have screwed me up. Yep, there we go. Ugh, the one button I had to move my hand to, and just that one second off the controls really <laughs> screwed me up. All right, everybody knows this isn't going to go well, but I'm going to try it anyways because I'm curious. I want to see what... <laughs> When we hit this windstorm, uh, you know we're gonna go flying, but I'm gonna try it. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God, no, no, not already. I thought I could fight it for a little bit, but that is definitely not the case. We got fucked up. All right, we're at the edge of the map, as you can see. I just want to give this thing the best chance at doing a flight in this. I just want to see how fast it can go. So we're gonna go over here where it's nice and open, and I'm going to quickly do this because it's going to happen very, very quickly. There we go. And start picking it up. Oh, God. <laughs> it just it just doesn't work. There's too much damn wind in this place. All right, so that was the Beetle Beetle, or the Stag Beetle, whatever you want to call it. Absolutely amazing creation. What a wonky-ass design. But I love things like this. I love it when creators make two things into one. All right, and finally, oh, hey, buddy. What What the fuck? No, hey, 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 okay. Uh, I'm gonna get some dislikes for that one. But yes, this is the F-22 Raptor with some goddamn tank tracks, and that's exactly what it's called. So yes, the legendary F-22 Raptor, now even better as a freaking tank. So I figured we'd go out here with some rough terrain and see if we can take it off the ground with these tank treads. I gotta assume, I mean, it's pretty flat over here. Let's try and take it off with some of the bumpy parts. All right, I've never flown this thing, so bear with me. Here we go. I've actually flown the F-22 Raptor version, but not the one with the tank treads. Oh, wow, it's actually already lifting off. Look at this. Look at, I expected it to be so freaking heavy. Look, at, it's actually very easy to control, so we can uh, control it in air. How fast are we going right now? 
160, so it's not the fastest jet anymore. Obviously, we have a lot more drag. I mean, look at the look at the back end of this thing. This looks freaking awesome. Oh shit! Oh man, <laughs> we just touched that thing. All right, but if there's any vehicle that I feel like I can land, this is definitely it. Before we do that, though, let's check out some of the features of this. First of all, we have an afterburner, which is on right now. Uh, very hard to tell. Actually, well, you can see the, the uh, speed distant, uh, difference. We're going almost 400 kilometers an hour now, so a lot faster than before. We also got an air brake if we do want it. Not going to try that right now because I don't really want to stop. And, uh, of course, we got lots of different weapons. All right, so, whoa, what was that? Something just fell out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it, j it just hit the mountain. I don't know what that was. A, l a little piece of the craft fell off. But yes, let's open up the, the missile bay and start shooting some of these things off. Actually, I, I feel like I can control this so well, I might be able to hit that uh, little house wherever it is. But let's open up the bay and uh, check out some of these weapons. So there we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All right, unfortunately, there's no crosshair camera, I don't think, unless it's not shown. So we just got to use the uh, weapons and hope for the best here. So I'm going to go in. Uh, no idea what I'm shooting with, so let's just... Oh, man, there we go. There we go. That should be good. That should be good. What? Where did... What the fuck happened to my rocket? I just shot it right into it. All right, we're going to try one more time here with these uh, missiles just to see if maybe it was a fluke or not. So I'm going to get nice and close and personal and... Bam, there we go, let him off, yeah, there we go, a little bit of lag, but we did hit it after all. This thing is actually amazing to control in air, it's very, very easy as you can see. Uh, didn't even need a crosshair to hit that up, mind you, we were really close to it. Uh, but this thing does have some more weapons, so let's check them out. But yes, in terms of other weaponry, it does have some semi-auto cannons on it, so uh, yeah, you can spam the hell out of these if you want. Oh shit, what happened to my tank track? No, oh my god. Oh, uh, didn't expect that one, but that was fun. All right, tying a plane to a tank really isn't the best idea all the time now, is it? It does still have more weapons, though, so we must take it up again. Not that I'm complaining about that, because uh, taking this thing off is just so damn fun. Let's put the afterburner on and take it off right away. There we go. Already at 200 kilometers an hour. And finally, if we don't stall and crash, it does have some auto cannons as well. So if we press... Oh, it just heats up the cannons. Okay, that's actually really cool looking. Uh, but yeah, basically it just turns it into auto cannons instead of semi-auto cannons. All right, let's put the afterburner on because we're going to crash here and take it off. Now, what I want to do mostly is try and land this thing because I got to assume with tank treads, we can basically land anywhere. All right, so let's try and land this thing on some rocky terrain. By the way, I did miss it, my bad, but it does have a first-person camera and a very nice one at that with a crosshair. So if you do actually want to aim it up, uh, it's going to be a lot easier than what I just did. All right, so I don't even know how I should land this. I think I'm just going to kill the engine and kind of coast down here. So let's try it out. Kill the engine and lift. Start the uh, tank treads. Ooh, a little bit of a too fast of a landing. All right, we do got to go really slow with this, so we probably want to use the air brake. Jesus. All right, so tank treads are fragile. We can't hit the ground at high speed, so I think I am going to keep the engine on and just slam that air brake. So here we go. Uh, going to get nice and low. Don't, don't want to be a hero here. Let's make sure it's going really slow. Turn on that air brake. There we go. And please tell me. There we go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Turn on the tank treads. Bam. Cut the engine. And we are back to being a tank. Amazing. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Best Besieged Creations. I hope you guys enjoyed this week checking out a lot of two-in-one creations. I think there was a Reddit uh, contest going on. That's why we've seen so much of them. Easily one of my favorite things to check out in Besiege anyways, so I'm so happy it happened, and I hope you guys enjoyed these wonky-ass creations. As always, if you do want to check them out for yourself, play with them in your own game, links will be in the description for all these creations where you can go download them and enjoy them for yourself. As always, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.